it's regarding the uh, common thing which is heard which is that the the quran is is a man's speech it's muhammad's speech and so on and uh, so the questioner is asking if um your opinion as scientist um based on what you have read in of the quran uh, what do you think about this about this allegation or about the statement i i suppose i'll just uh, put it forward and anyone who wishes to answer can Well, I, I think each one of us has said that when we were first uh, read these verses in the Quran, we were amazed that uh, these sort of statements were made uh, so long ago, and yet they were so accurate. Now, uh, we've traveled uh, various countries, and when I met someone from Egypt, and he, you always have the critics, and one person said, "This is not true. They just copied this from." what was known well we can assure you that it wasn't known in those days it turned out i thought all it showed how naive i was i thought all egyptians were muslims but they're not and uh, it turned out that uh, this person that was uh, arguing with me uh, was one of the coptic christians who doesn't of course believe what is in the quran and i said well if you can show me anywhere in the scientific literature the history of the science where these things were known in the, uh, the time that the Quran was recorded uh you show it to us and Dr. Prasad is a, as he said is an interest in history he's written books in the history of anatomy the history of embryology and we've never come across any of this so this knowledge was available in those days it 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 certainly not uh, been recorded anywhere and so uh, as we say it just was not available so we i guess the amazement was the thing that uh, presented uh, to each one of us we just couldn't believe that these things were written and yet they are accurate uh, 1400 years later that was our reaction